Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mink and of course this is Mink's Kinks and y'all I'm very excited for the products that we're using today. We're actually going in with a little combo of products that I have used, I have reviewed, and I really enjoy. So I'm really excited to see if these two work together. Now if if you know you know, um a mix and match type of girl like I just like to try different things together so that's what we're doing here today I don't do a whole lot of styling videos like mix it up type of things so if you guys are interested in like seeing just more like product combinations or you know just the way that I use my products up I'm um, just mixing and mashing definitely let me know that y'all want to see that because sometimes I do just stick to the things that I know and have reviewed and other times I like to veer off and just see what happened? So as for today's product combo, we're going in with the Unicurl 4-in-1 Styler. Listen, I really do enjoy this product. I have little less than half left in here. And I'm actually pulling this one out because I have the Unicurl Gel. And I want to pull that out once it gets warmer. So I'm going ahead to just make sure that I still know what it's talking about. Okay. And then, of course, we're going in with my favorite mousse. This is the Frizz Patrol from Aunt Jackie. Um, I'm really excited. I love this mousse. I was put onto this mousse by Ever Pinionated, my girl. I did an initial review of this mousse as well, and she did not steer the girls wrong on this one. This one is also about halfway gone. And for whatever reason, in my mind, this combo is just really going to eat the girls up. So, of course, before we go ahead and get into it, hey, my name is Mink. I do natural hair, lifestyle, book, beauty, all types of content. So, if you're interested in any of those things, definitely go ahead, hit the subscribe button down below, okay? We would love to have you here. Definitely join the Kinky Group fam and leave me a comment so that I can personally welcome you, okay? We'd love to see it. We let us see it. So, y'all, I am a little bit low energy because it is literally going on at 9 o'clock. Hopefully, you guys are able to see that. It is going on at 9 o'clock um, on a Monday. Ciao. I know. So I was outside yesterday on my normal wash day. So today we went ahead and just had to do a quick one too. I am quickly going in with the Baskin Bloom herbal infused hair scalp and oil. Y'all know the oil. Um, I'm going with this. I know a lot of people are staring away from greasing their scalps, oils. Chat, I do both. <laughs> Um, I've actually had a recent little influx of people asking me about that type of stuff and like seeing me scratch my head in my videos and if you are new here no worries I just personally have a very dry and very itchy scalp so for me putting oils on my scalp just really helps I don't know it helps it do something so this is what my hair is looking like it looks very very full but I will say today was a little bit of a weird wash day and it kind of threw me for a loop to be quite honest with y'all. So I did have silicones in my hair last week so I followed my routine um, for when I'm like reverting from silicones and honestly didn't work out the best. I'm gonna say that. Um, this wash day the last time I did it worked out really really well. I hadn't used silicone so I'm thinking with my silicone things I may just have to go in with a sulfate after that. Even, I don't know. I got to play around with it. Um, my hair is just very, very big. Like, I, I hope that you guys can see this. Now, granted, my hair has been drying for a little bit. No more than 15 minutes, though. So, and that's, that's a lot of volume for, you know. So, I am still going to go in with these products. Because, honestly, I also did use um, the Camille Rose Honey Nectar. Y'all know. The, the deep conditioner that I like. Um, whatever that honey deep conditioner is, which I really, really do enjoy and have used plenty of times. Like the bottle's like halfway gone, less than halfway gone at this point. Um, I've only used it one other time where I really, really feel the protein in there. And I did leave it on a little bit more than an hour. And usually I cap it at an hour because it has the protein. So honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe that's it. I don't know. So I'm going to go in with my products that I was planning to use any old way. And next week when I wash my hair, I'm just going to go in with the clarifying shampoo just to be safe. So now going ahead in with this Unicurl 4-in-1 Styler. It is a leave-in, a detangler, a curl cream, and a moisturizer. And I have used it for just about all its purposes. I use it for a detangler like as a leave-in. I'm not renting this out though. I've heard some of the girls say that Unicurl is no longer in business. Honestly, I don't know. I can't keep up with the brands that are coming and going and are here sometimes. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't keep up. So I will say I've tried a couple products from Unicurl and so far I've liked them. Um, including this this 4 one styler. It's been open. It's been in my stash. Y'all know 2024 is the year of me using stuff up. And this one has been open for a little while. So I'm I, this year it's going to be gone. 
so i'm gonna go ahead and just get right into it it says ever heard of a smart cream maybe not because this is the first it simply does the work for you in one jar let us see it especially at nine o'clock on monday champ not trying to figure out what products work with it because you don't need anything else to style um, when you use this. I have used it as a one and done and it works pretty well. Coarse and curly dry hair won't don't need layering method to maintain moisture and style. Use the smart cream by itself on your next twist out and you'll and you'll know you'll know it does exactly what it claims. So as for moisture level, it claims to be intense. And then as for hold, it is a soft hold. So I will say I have always found this cream to be very, very moisturizing but it don't have no hole <laughs> no hole which is why i'm going in with the on jackie's mousse so as for directions they are very short very sweet it says apply a generous amount to hair that is wet or damp okay um detangle with a wide tooth comb or detangling brush and style as desired cool first couple ingredients unicurl i believe is a clean brand um so this one has water aloe leaf juice coconut oil marshmallow root ext extract um behentromonium methyl sulfate and then there's a couple different things not a very long list there's some lemon oil fragrance um sweet almond oil it's a very short ingredients list i will have the website linked down below or on amazon or something if i can find it but again i'm not sure so as for consistency with this cream it is very loose very very liquidy and let me tell y'all i absolutely love the way this line smells it smells so clean but like sweet almost so I'm just going to go ahead and apply more water again because I'm not really sure what's up with my hair. I do not always have perfect wash days so you know I got to come on here and be transparent. So I'm just going ahead and detangling with my fingers right now just to get out any hair but I am going in with a brush later on. I grabbed about this much cream. It's been a while since I pulled this out so I'm not sure how much. Um, right on cue, the slip is there. You feel the slip in your hands. I need more product though. I don't know why I like kid myself starting out that small. So I just got about the same amount and I'm making sure to just work the cream in. I'm using this as a leave-in, I guess. Um, I like this better with like something else under it, but I have also used the product as um like a styler and for me like it says it just doesn't really have a whole lot of hold but just um applying the product it definitely has slipped the smell is very very pleasant and you can absolutely feel the moisture going into your hair so just with the application that is what my hair looks like and i gotta say y'all my hair does look pretty good it looks pretty pretty good it's still pretty big um which I'm not going to say that's the product's fault because again, I'm not sure. Maybe I should have used a clarifying shampoo today. I don't know, um, Chad, but here we are anyway. But so far, so good. I definitely like the way it's applying to my hair. And as for today's style, before I go ahead and just put this, the rest of this leave-in on my head, I am doing a braid out today. Surprise, surprise. Okay, guys, so I'm back, and this is what the leave-in all applied. Y'all know I twist my hair in sections once, um, you know, the leave-ins all applied and everything. And I definitely think I need to go in with more of a clarifying shampoo from here on out. Um, so, child, y'all will see that reflected in my hair routines type of thing. But I definitely think when I use silicones, I'm just going to have a, a silicone wash day separate from my usual four-day or a four week plan situation child y'all listen okay i'll explain it in that video but um this is what my hair looks like my hair feels really really good i will say my hair feels really really good but my hair typically just isn't this voluminous um you know like just fresh out of you know what's applying a leave-in but the hair looks good i will say the hair looks the hair looks good with no mousse so i'm definitely excited and i definitely think this product will still work child we're just gonna go with it and, and see okay so let me go section my hair real quick and let's talk about the mousse okay y'all so i child not part of it falling i went ahead and sectioned my hair before you know bits and pieces was falling and what i've just been doing when i'm lazy i just child take little rows in the back so i have three rows in the back and then usually i'll have these sections up in the front but so in this back section, I'm only going to do three braids today because, again, it's, it's, it's late night, okay? So this is the side section that I'm going to be working on here. 
and I'm actually going to spray my hair down with some water. Well, actually, let's talk about the mousse, but I am going to spray my hair down with some water and detangle before I go in with the mousse because the shed hair is alive right now. So again, we are going in with the On Jackie's Frizz Patrol Mousse. And as you guys can see, I got a real clearance. As well as that I actually like the product because it's really like halfway gone. <laughs> so y'all have heard me talk about this mousse over and over and over and over again. So as for directions, it just says it can be used daily, as needed, applied generously to wet or dry hair. Honestly, in my opinion, it hasn't mattered. And then child, it basically says just style as desired. You can use it for rod sets, braid outs, wash and goes, all of the things, okay? So one thing I will say about the Unicurl leave-in is my hair feels very, very soft, very, very moisturized. I can absolutely feel the moisture in this product. I just don't know why my hair is so big because it feels like the product is actually sinking in. But child, whatever. Um, so like I said, I'm just going ahead and spray my hair down with water. Um, child, it was warm water when <laughs> I first left the bathroom. And then y'all, I have my tangle teaser here. I love my tangle teaser, especially for detangling. Um, I know some people don't, but I, it seems to work well for me. And I just work my way from the bottom up. And like I said, I'm not the type of person who detangles every week or every time I wash my hair. But for whatever reason, I'm just having some intense shedding right now. I guess, I don't know, weather. And here is a pump of the mousse. It is definitely, chat, my hands are all wrinkled, don't mind me. Um, it's definitely one of those big fluffy mousses. So I'm starting out just with that one pump. Um, no, I'm not. I need another <laughs> Yeah, so I think two pumps of mousse will definitely be better. Um, for me, this mousse, I don't know that I would necessarily go about detangling with the mousse. But as for a mousse, it does have more movement than a lot of other mousses. I wouldn't go as far as to say a mousse has slip um most mousses just don't but i do think that this mousse you definitely are able to run your fingers through in the way that i am in the way i like to just make sure that the products fully cover my hair so this is what my hair looks like after brushing it out as well as running my fingers through and it's definitely defined and y'all literally know the drill from here it's um just gonna be a braid out i will say the mousse is very moisturizing i know that from all you know million times to have used it because this mousse y'all know mousses are just the gifts that keep on giving so I've, I've used this mousse a lot <laughs> to be halfway through but it's just a very moisturizing mousse i'm going to do a braid out i anticipate my hair to be very very moisturized because the unicurl is moisturizing this is moisturizing so i just anticipate that my hair will turn out pretty pretty good but i'm literally just going to go ahead and braid my hair up in these braids if you want more details on either of the products definitely let me know and like i said if you guys want to see more product combos definitely let me know in the comments section below and let me know if y'all know we have some similar products in our stash and you like a certain combo let me know so that i can definitely give them a try because i love a good mix and match situation so and it helps me use up my stylers as well so braid one is done i am doing a little twist at the bottom because who is unraveling that braid at the end not me so that is what braid number one looks like. And y'all, I actually am going to dust my ends. So that little tail thing y'all see here, she'll be gone by the time I come back. But yeah, y'all, so I'm just going to go ahead, tap in with some of my YouTube girls. Once my hair is all braided up, child, I'm going to let it air dry for as long as I can stand reading my book. And then I'll be going to bed and I'll see y'all when I take these up. Hey, you guys. So I am back and let's talk about these final results. So hopefully you guys are able to see what the hair is giving. So yeah, y'all, this is actually, y'all, I've had those, those braids, twades, they were in literally all week. So I did my hair on Sunday and today is Friday when I took them out. So I think that my hair looks pretty, pretty good. Um, there is a little bit of frizz since my hair was in the the tweeds for those couple days. But what I feel like I can tell the difference in is that I didn't stretch my hair. So you guys can see that like awkward, like almost like house type shape that my hair ends up falling into. And that's really why I've gotten into stretching my hair. No fault to the products, it's just my hair, I feel like with the different textures, it just helps to apply a little bit of heat so it's not looking crazy. I will say, I don't think it looks terrible though, like 
for this to be just day one i think it looks pretty pretty good um let's go ahead and talk about the products and then we'll talk about the combination so first of course i went in with the unicurl four in one styler and i have literally like this much of the product left so i have about this much of the product left which will be one use for me i really do like this four in one styler like i said i'm not sure if unicurl is still in business or not but i did like this a lot as a leave-in i will say i do feel like i was able to run my fingers through and detangle like i said i like it as a leave-in moisturizer the moisture is very much still present my hair feels really really good and a curl cream I, I, I've used this as a one and done styler but I prefer something with hold um, but it, it did work so I really like this 4 in 1 styler I know a lot of people have tried this and really enjoyed it so I definitely do like it and I can't wait to try it with the matching gel from Unicro and then I went in with one of my faves this is the Frizz Patrol setting mousse from on Jackie's and as you guys can see with this one I'm a little less than halfway gone it takes me so long to go through a mousse because I don't do like mousse wash and goes or I haven't yet I won't say that I won't but I haven't yet um but this is definitely just one of my favorite mousse this is definitely just one of my favorite mousses is that how you say it mousses would it be mousses I don't know child but I really do enjoy this mousse um I like that it gets big and fluffy it's moisturizing it does have some hold and I realized especially when I was taking down this piece right here I had crunch I had crunch now I won't say I had it all over my head I only used like a pump I think per per section so if you use more this would probably be um a little more holding but this is just one of my favorite mousses it's really good it's affordable and it's on the ground we let us see it I'm, I don't think on Jackie's is black owned. I don't think so. Correct me if I'm wrong. But um, this is definitely just a really good mousse for me. So as for this combo, though I do like the combo, I think I waited a little bit too long to take my hair out. I wasn't doing anything, so I didn't feel the need to take my hair out. Um, I think that I picked this and fluffed this to make it as big as it is. It is still not even big for me. Like this feels very flat. But I think that this is a style that would really grow as the days go on. So I only have until Sunday before I'm going to wash my hair again. But I did like the combo. Like my hair feels spectacular. My hair feels so, so moisturized. And that's something I really enjoy. And there's definitely definition. I just wish that I would have taken my hair out. No fault to the products. Um, I think it's good. And I think that this would even stand through the heat when I stretch my hair. Um, but yeah, you guys, so that is this product combo. So like I said, definitely let me know if there's certain combinations and stuff that you want to see, especially with things that I already have in my stash, because I'm curious to know like what you guys like. And like I said, I just really want to get back into doing styling videos. I do a lot of wash day videos because I finish, um, like deep conditioners and pre-poos and wash day type of things a lot faster than I do stylers. Um, but just let me know like what combinations and stuff you guys want to see. I do have a list of things that you guys have suggested or recommended in like previous videos but definitely let me know as well as if you have tried either of these products I'm curious to know because I really did enjoy them both separately and I like them together so yeah you guys I love you so so much and I will see you in my next one